You're back. And so am I. Yeah, it's cooking with Chris. Yeah, cooking with Chris. Yeah, cooking with Chris. Yeah, cooking, cooking, cooking with Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, today I got a special thing for you guys. It's a secret recipe. It's a family recipe. My grandma has made this many times for us. Every family reunion, she would make it. And uh, it's a little something called Lush. Uh, when she would make it, it was usually Raspberry Lush. Um, so this is honor of my heritage, my family, my grandma. Um, we are going to be needing roughly six egg whites. Uh, usually, like I said, it's usually raspberry. So it'd be two cups of raspberries, um, one cup of sugar, one and a half cups of Quip, and then you just freeze it and eat it and it's freaking delicious um i don't have raspberries and i've done a lot of experimenting around with different things and you can do whatever you want you can flavor it with different fruits uh you can use canned fruits even i've even uh, just added like a can of pear uh not pear have i done pears i think i've done pears uh, i've also done peaches peaches is a good one and occasionally i'll leave uh chunks in when i do peaches because then you get a nice chunk of uh frozen peach. That's real good. I've done mango. I've done strawberry banana. I've done just a tropical uh, fruit mix. And that's actually what we're going to be using today. Uh, this is what we had in the freezer. It's a mixed fruit mix. What do we got in here? Uh, a blend of pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mangoes. So it should be pretty tasty. Um, so first of all, first off, um, we are going to be separating some of our egg yolks and, uh, or our egg whites, because we need the whites. We don't want the yolks, but save the yolks because you can use them for something else. Maybe like, a, if you want to make a custard or something like that. I have seen a trick that I've been wanting to try for so long. Like, I I'm just going to see if it works on one egg. I'm not gonna crack all six in here and then do it like that. I'm not risking that. Um, but yeah, there's one egg cracked in here. And then supposedly, you just get an empty water bottle and then you just like suck it up with it. What do I want for the yolks? Different bowl. We'll pop a bag in the bowl. And then we'll just freeze these yolks for use at a later date. If this works. Got the bottle. So I just stick it on it and suck it up. Squeeze the bottle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it worked! Oh. 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 That is so much easier than doing like the eggshell method or whatever method you use. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I want to do that again. This is fun. Ooh. Okay, six eggs. These are actually farm fresh eggs from our chickens, so extra delicious. Some of you guys are like, oh, you're gonna end up cracking a yolk and messing up all your other whites. You might be right. Let's do this one at a time. Play it safe. Ooh. This is fun, guys. Cooking should be fun. Uh, I'm also gonna save these eggshells because uh, I use them all the time in my garden. And then uh, you can also, to uh, give back the calcium to your chickens, you want to crush up your eggshells so that they can't recognize it as eggs or you'll be basically teaching your chickens to eat eggs. And the, uh, cause they need, 
calcium in order to continue laying. Um, and many times, sometimes that'll be the reason why they'll be eating their own eggs is because lack of nutrients. They need to consume their eggs in order to lay more. So just be wary of that if you're if you raise animals. How many of this? Pick number four, my lord. Number four. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 an egg booger. Ew. Oh. Guys, this method is amazing. I used to dread separating eggs. And now I might just have to find something that uses egg whites. Maybe like a molten lava cake, I think. Might the recipe I have. Pulper egg whites. Just so I can mess around and do this. Ew. I got orange. Here, I'll I'll I'll, fit, I'll put this last one in, and then I'll show you how orange these freaking yolks are, man. If you guys are not eating like farm fresh eggs, you guys are missing out. Last little dude, come here, you little scrumptious. Just poop them right in there. Look at the. Camera doesn't do justice, but they are they are a nice deep orange. Anyways, let's get on to uh, our recipe. Just gonna take these. I laid them on a paper towel, push them towards the middle, and I'm just gonna roughly crush them. And then I just set them off to the side so that they can dry, and then I use them in my compost in my garden or I will grind them up really fine to feed to the animals. So we got our, what was that? Our six egg whites. Now you're going to uh, beat them, but not to high peaks. Okay. Remember to toss that water bottle. Also, um, uh, it's a good, now is a good time, or even before you start this, to uh, get your Cool Whip out so it like defrosts, so it's not just totally frozen, so it's easier to incorporate in when you need, when you get to that step. And you guys may be wondering what this delicious pan of luxurious, savory goodness is. You're gonna have to check out my other video on how to make the most delectable no-bakes ever. And I reveal, uh, well, one special ingredient in particular, but several other things that I like to add to take no bakes to the next level. And we're so good. Like, look how focus doesn't want to focus. It just wants to focus on my hand. Look how juicy that looks. Mmm. Too distracted. Let's get a weapon. Come here, eggs. And I like to use a glass bowl for this because it, it tends to go faster. If you use a plastic bowl, uh, I always feel like it takes longer. And slowly increase your speed. Don't just automatically push it up to the highest speed. I just like to take my fingers and grab the rim of the bowl and spin it as I'm going. Okay guys, I've basically made a froth out of those egg whites. Like you, you can tell it, it doesn't have stiff peaks. It's just basically like an egg foam, which sounds freaking disgusting. But 
trust the process. Okay, how much freaking sugar does, was it again? One cup of sugar. One cup of sugar. And then uh, I am going to blitz this fruit down so it's like a so it's in small pieces like it's almost like a smoothie almost and then i mix it in that way it's incorporated better but if you wanted to leave some chunks you can just to add different textures to it and for that guy, To do this in two runs, this little blender is not gonna be able to handle all that guy. I just pulled the small one, the small one out. <laughs> Get out of my way. There. It's gonna get loud. Popping, popping loud. <laughs> If you want, you can be rocking your tunes and dancing in the kitchen while you're doing this. This is what I usually like to do. When I'm uh, cooking, I always usually have music on. I had a spatula. There it is. Look at that. That's a beautiful freaking color. Oh, smells like Island Paradise. It smells like Hawaii. Just, just scoop that little guy. Oh, couple little. I saw a little chunky of a uh, peach. That's gonna be delicious. A little surprise for someone. This the other half of this bag. And like I said, experiment, find what you like, add the fruit of your liking. Um, and if you do try something crazy, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll be sure to take a look at it and possibly try it, try, not, try it myself and see what I've missing. Come on, lid. Oop. Let me set that there. I'll clean that up in a minute. This other half batch had more uh, strawberries in it. So it's a more like pinkish red. And that first half batch had more uh, peaches in it. So it's like an orange. smells in here are just making me want to salivate i don't know about you get you guys but i am a fruit lover i freaking love nice fruit and that's one thing i miss is it's much harder in the states to get uh some of the like nicest freshest fruits especially where i'm at i'm not anywhere near a coast or anything I'm way more inland, but when I uh, lived in Africa, we could literally just go out into our backyard and uh, get like fresh bananas and coconuts and oh, the pineapples were so freaking amazing. So guys, I'm just folding it in. Don't get too crazy with this. You just fold it in. It helps it retain it's uh, airiness. Remember to scrape the sides, get it all incorporated. And uh, before I forget, let's get this. It's a it's a cup and a half of Cool Whip. I'm just gonna finish this bin off. Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Flicking, flicking cool whip, flicking cool whip. Come on. We'll just, just put that guy right in there. Actually, that's probably going to be about the perfect amount. And uh, this is when why I said to get your Cool Whip out early, um, so that it's soft, so it's easy to uh, incorporate, or else you're gonna struggle a little bit. Ooh, smell. Roots all up in my nose holes. Let's scoop down the sides. Do another mix around. Here's a little clump of cool whip. Press that guy up. Saw another one. It's like, it's like, where's where's Waldo with the cool whip? Another little clump. There's a little dude. It's not the end of the world if you have little little clumps of co-whip. Um, I just don't want anything massive. Oh, there's a big dude. Side push in and I'm pulling up help expose any lumps these lumpy lumps there's a guy there's one what is your guys's favorite desserts to make let me know in the comments below. Um, I understand it's gonna be, it, it probably varies unless you're like insanely in love with something. Uh, certain times of the year, I find myself craving different things. If it's summer and it's hot, I'm craving something more cold. Uh, this always hits the spot when it's hot out. Um, sometimes I want something more warm in the fall. And winter, fresh baked cookie, you can't go wrong with that. But, okay, so this is pretty well incorporated. Ooh, almost spilt it there. Now we're just going to pour it into a 9 by 13 pan, pop it in the freezer, let it freeze. Then you slice it up and serve it. Try this one out. Pretty sure you'll like it. If not, maybe you just don't have good taste. Let's be honest, not everyone does. But anyways, catch you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoy. Bye now. Woo, woo.